In today's video, you'll learn how to create this keyboard typing effect, and we're gonna use Canva to do it. Time to make this typing effect, gonna make this thing in Canva. Sit on back, I'll show you how, right now. Okay, let's imagine that we're cooking up a social media post. We're gonna have some prep time, which will take about two minutes, and then we'll have our cook time, which will be us editing for about five to 10 minutes. First up, we wanna record the swiping and typing motion. A few tips as you're trying to get this shot. Be sure to leave the first few seconds of your shot blank before your hand enters the shot. And also I recommend making sure that there's good contrast and not a lot of shadows by your hand. Otherwise, Canva's background remover may not be as clean as you want it to be. Once you've recorded it, go into your camera library and select a frame before your hand enters. You're gonna screenshot that frame. The next step in your prep is to screen record your phone. I used the Notes app on my iPhone, but you can use any app where you're able to type, text messages, WhatsApp, your choice. The most important thing is that we can see the keyboard typing and get that typing sound effect. Okay, now it's time to edit everything together. Go to Canva and create a new mobile video. Upload everything you just recorded to your Canva account. The first thing that we're gonna do is add in the screenshot as our first slide. We'll resize it to make it the background of the video and then duplicate that and remove the background. If Canva doesn't detect a background, no biggie. We can simply crop what we need to and add in the video of our hand swiping and typing. That will become the top layer. Use Canva's video background remover on this clip. Okay, now let's pull in the screen recording of what you typed on your phone. I'm gonna split mine up into two different layers. We'll lower the opacity and round the corners to give it the effect that we're turning our desk into a user interface. I also played with some of the video adjustments in order to give it a little bit more contrast and darken it. Here we're gonna match up where it will appear with our hand swipe. So select your element and click the three dots to show element timing. We're gonna drag the front of the element to where we want it to appear in the video. I did this by pressing play and watching for where my hand got to the right hand side of the keyboard and then I trimmed the clip to about that spot. All right, next up is where the magic happens. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this keyboard and I'll bring it down just a little bit. And now I'm gonna bring it over here to the left-hand side because we wanna start working on this animation where it's gonna pop out from beneath this keyboard. So with this selected, I'm gonna go up here to animate and we're gonna click on create an animation. And I'm gonna hold down shift because that's gonna maintain a straight line as I'm clicking and dragging. So I'm gonna hold down shift, click and drag and pull it out here to the right-hand side of the keyboard. And of course it's gonna mimic that exact movement and that doesn't look good. So we're gonna change that by going over here to movement styles and we're gonna click this drop down and I'm gonna choose steady. So that's gonna give us just a nice fluid motion there. And of course it's really, really slow. So we're gonna adjust the speed right here and you're just gonna have to play with what works best with the way that you swipe. So I think that's probably pretty good. I'm gonna click on done and then I'm gonna bring this to the front here and we'll click on play to get a preview. And remember I said that I wanna do mine in two layers, but what I'm gonna do is actually duplicate this layer right here. So you can either duplicate it by clicking on this little button right here, but if you do that, it's not gonna be exact. It's not gonna line up perfectly. So my little trick is that I like to hold down shift and alt while dragging my mouse up and that's gonna make sure everything lines up perfectly. So now what I'm gonna do is crop the bottom and start working on cropping the top because I just wanna see the words at the top that are popping up here. So let's zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna keep cropping the bottom a little bit here. And because I duplicated this, it also is gonna carry over that same animation style that we did for the one below it here. So this is what it's gonna look like. So now we need to actually drag these so that they're behind that keyboard. So you can click anywhere on your canvas and you're gonna get this top floating toolbar. We'll click on position and we wanna rearrange these. We're gonna reorder these. I'm gonna select both of them by holding down shift and I'm gonna click and drag to pull them beneath this layer of my keyboard. But 
on top of the background layer. So now when we hit play, it should look like this. The final touch is to add in a sound effect. So the next thing is gonna be to add in just a little swoosh sound effect. So what you're gonna do is go over to the left hand object panel over here, click on apps, and you're looking for audio here. And you can see I already have swoosh sound effect. That's what you're gonna look for, or any kind of swoosh, any kind of pop, whatever you want. I'm gonna use this one by just clicking on it, and it's automatically added down here. And then we'll just drag. And again, I'm just gonna try to time it with when that keyboard is popping out. So let's hit play and see. All right, that looks pretty good. And so what I'm gonna do now is just check the end. Let's see the typing. And I'm just looking for when it ends. So somewhere around here. And I'm just gonna trim the back of our clip here. And now we are good to go. Once everything looks good, you're ready to download it. Click on share. We're gonna go to download. And of course we want an MP4 video. We'll click download and it's automatically gonna be downloaded to your machine. If you like tips like this, be sure to subscribe for more ideas. And if this helped you, show some love by hitting the like button and share it with a friend. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.